Hi, I'm Mark Jarvis. Welcome to the Magic of Magic's review of Sankey's Best Magic with Ordinary Objects. Sankey's Best Magic with Ordinary Objects by Jay Sankey is a collection of 20 effects that stand the test of time. There are no card or coin routines, just great magic with things, such as straws, rings, rubber bands, ping pong balls, keys, lighters, crayons, and more. Let's watch a clip from Sankey's Best Magic with Ordinary Objects, and we'll be right back to talk about magic that will add variety to your routines. I'll show you something. Now, don't get the wrong idea. People see a guy hold a spoon like this, they think I'm the sort of guy that with the power of my mind is going to bend on. I can't pop. What? What? Whoa! Whoa! What the? It's a bit weird. Well, look. look. I'm going to try to bring the two together. The ring and the spoon. I'm going to try to bring the two together. And I could cheat. I could cheat. I could take the spoon and put it on top. But like I said, that's cheating. So instead, I'm going to take the, the uh, spoon and try to put the bowl right down through the ring. You can see the ring is still solid. It's fine. The spoon is still solid. I'm broken. Would you hold your hand, sir, spectator? Say, actually, hold your other hand. I'm going to try to pull the the ring through the bowl of the spoon. They ask them to hold on tight to this, which they do. I go one, two, and I pull the ring right through the bowl of the spoon. Listen. Do you know what that is? Not a cyber cricket. No, 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 no. It's a ping pong ball. There's a ping pong ball. Now, of course, I've taken the ping pong ball and I've flattened it for traveling purposes. But if I want, I can take it and make it get much bigger. Here's something with uh, three movie tickets or beer tickets. And uh, the idea behind this trick is to actually get someone involved after you've uh, taken all three uh, tickets and torn them apart is you uh, ask someone if they'd uh, be so kind as to initial one of the tickets. They do, let's say they put a baby A on a ticket, something like that. Say, so would you do my favor and actually, actually, actually hold, hold out your hand for me. I'm going to hold on to yours and I'd like you to hold on to these two tightly in your hand. They hold on to the two tickets in their hand. You take their ticket, bend it in half, say, watch, try something a little strange. Snap my fingers, and of course, boom, they find, lo and behold, it right there, their, uh, uh, their ticket has vanished. They open their hand, and they find out that all three uh, tickets are, in fact, back together. They're all re-healed back together, and their ticket is, in fact, the middle one, stuck right between those two, and they can examine everything. Sankey's Best Magic with Ordinary Objects takes a different perspective on how slights and techniques are applied to everyday items. You'll draw upon Jay's concepts to keep your magic fresh and surprising. Some of the magical effects you'll find on Sankey's Best Magic with Ordinary Objects include Cut and Restraw, an effect where you cut and restore a drinking straw without the straw ever leaving the sight of your spectator. Stirring Silver, a routine where you penetrate a ring through a bowl of a spoon, not once, but twice. Circumference, where a flat ping pong ball magically becomes round and bounces on the table, and then becomes completely flat again. Hot wax, a broken and restored crayon effect, and heat of the moment, an effect where you take a rubber band and visually melt it right through a pen. The magic that Jay teaches isn't difficult. The techniques are clever and thought-provoking. You'll learn a range of slights. Some you'll perform quickly, and others, if new to you, will require some practice. Whether you perform for friends, or family, or professionally, you'll find an intriguing variety of magic for your routine. I recommend Sankey's Best Magic with Ordinary Objects.